Hi, Vince Campy here. Let's talk about sharing and collaborating in Google Docs. Okay, let's go ahead and open this. Now, this is where we left off the last time after the Getting Started section. Okay, this is basically your library. And to share a document, say I'm going to share this one. I just open up the one I was working on. This is a narrative project we're doing, and we're starting it out here, and we're going to move it into a digital story uh, storytelling project. Okay, if you want to share, what you do is you go right here to share. And right here, invite people as collaborators. I have my students put my name in here. So they have the Vince Campy. Oops. But Campy, oh, here it is right here. Click there. Now, that's the address, invite as collaborators. So I go ahead and click on there. It gives me this little dialog box. Message. Hey, need input. Input. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, you can go ahead and uh, send the message, or you can skip send an invitation, and it'll show up either way. So let's go ahead and skip. That's fine. Now, you go right up here to back to editing. And here you are in your in your document again. Now this will show up automatically in that other person's um, uh, Docs, Google Docs. So I'm going to go to Docs Home. Okay, and obviously it's here. It was here before, but now all the students have put my email address in their shared folder. That way I'm able to see all of their work. Now look at this here. Just a narrative. This is one of my students. This is his work. He could be at home working on it right now, or he could be somewhere else. Okay, not working on it at all. <laughs> a narrative. All right. So this is something of what he's started here. And part of their thing is to go home and talk to their parents, grandparents, and try to find out a little information about their, their heritage and where they came from. So now it looks like he's got a good start on this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click right here, a little spelling here. I'll Help him with that. Okay. Click right there. I'm going to hit return. And then I can just type something in here. Or I can insert a comment. So if I go to insert right here. Comment. Puts a little time and date stamp and my name. So. Looks like you've got a good start. Okay, probably should spell that right, huh? What the heck? You got a good start. Okay, now that comment, I hit save. If he looks at this, it's now saved on this document, and wherever he is, he can look right now, and that, that comment would show up. So now I go back to Doc's home. Doc's home, there we go. Now, what I've done is I've arranged these in folders. Because remember, we talked about the naming process. Where did his just go? Okay. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll just go. Over. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, the naming process right here. So it's saved and it lines up in your sorter view um, with this. Okay. So now uh, to rename, if you have a problem with that or didn't remember what happened, we just clicked right on that name and then we change it in here if you need to change it. Hit OK, save, and go back to your Docs Home. Now, you can sort them by the names. I just did that, and so all the period fives are together. So I'm going to go ahead and I click on these. You can go ahead and shift click, get all those. Now, let's say I want to add those to this folder right here. OK, go to Add, the period five narratives. I'll put them right in there. OK. You've added those in there. Okay, so now to add a new folder, if I had a new class or something like that, I go right here to the New button, Folder, and click right there, and I can say New Project. And it could be All Classes or Period 3, something like that. Hit Return or Enter. That folder shows up right here, and now 
If I go back up to all items, I can go, and if I had a period three doing a project, I could select those and put those into that folder. Right now, as an example, I can click Add to Folder, and I can go ahead and put these ones in that folder as well. And now they just showed up here. I click on that folder, and I've got all of my um, uh, documents in there. I can go and correct these. I can be anywhere, online, you know, in town, out of town, on a plane, by the pool. I can do all the corrections, comments, and that. And I'm going to deselect these now, so I'm going to click None down at the bottom. And um, I can do all this work, grade them, do that whole thing. And it never has to leave the computer. Okay, as well as... Now, we want to have images for this. If they're at home and they want to scan images or have some images on their computer, what they can do, they can go ahead and say click, and just hit return, we make a little spot, and we can insert an image. So then you, this comes up. You see, from this computer, I'm going to browse. I'm going to go to my desktop. I get this picture of this seagull because it reminds me of sailing from Italy, my great-grandfather from Calabria, Italy. So I'm going to open that, and then I'm going to insert that image. This only accepts up to 2 megabytes, so you have to downsize the image a little bit. This is still a pretty big image, <laughs> as you may notice. And so now we have that image in there. Go ahead and save this. Then it's at school. Then we can take this image, download this from here, and put it into iMovie, put it into any kind of multimedia project we have. See, here's my, my document. And you can actually resize images as well from the edge. I just clicked on it. I can drag it right up or down here. See now, nice smaller image, and it's still nice high resolution. Put it in the middle, and we have our little document with the picture in there. So it's very handy, very cool thing. We're going to be using the presentation software as well as a storyboard. And um, yeah, that's it for the, the collaboration. It makes it really simple to see students, how they're doing, if they need help, anything like that. And their work is turned in. Once they finish it, they just close their computer and it's turned in. All right, that's it for the sharing and collaborating. And I will talk to you soon. We'll look at uh, the presentation software uh, next time. All right, take care now. Bye-bye.